Hey Bible lovers, got another Bible review. Wanted to show you guys this really awesome edition. These have become more and more popular as they uh, become harder to find. This is an original ESV Quintel, first edition. And what made this edition, uh, what is making this edition popular is um, the 38 GSM paper that it has. The the second edition or the second generation of this Quintel was a uh, was a 36 GSM paper, and now that the thin tail is out, the thin line, uh, that's a 28 GSM paper, uh, which is still great. All of them are great paper, um, but this one is a 38 GSM paper, and it's it's a thicker, bigger um, edition. So it's a big Bible. If you like big Bibles. Uh, this is the closest thing you'll get to the brick. Uh, it has a 45 GSM paper. It's a it's a thick Bible. So anyway, this is a used edition, and I got it from a friend of mine on Facebook, and I'm just happy to get it and and review it. And as you can see, this is red with the uh, with like a brown calfskin uh, leather liner, and. Uh, Actually, I think that's a goat skin. I don't know. But anyway, uh, this is the red, uh, the red goat skin cover, and you can see it's been used. The Jerusalem crosses, it's fading from the impression is fading a little bit from the cover, and uh, but it's held up really well. It's held up really well. These were put out in uh, a few years ago, and uh, it's held up pretty good. The gilding is uh, is. Is okay. It's got a few scratches here and there, but it's going to do fine uh, for me for a while. So um, anyway, as we open it up, you can see the uh, brown on brown end sheet and the uh, and the liner. I'd say I, I thought this was a calf skin, but it might be a goat skin. It's just hard. It's really hard to tell. But anyway, you can see the uh, gold gilt line around the perimeter, and uh, it doesn't have a big yap. Maybe. 10 millimeter or, or 9 millimeter or something like that um but uh it's a it's it's just a big old beast i got a buddy of mine he has a green one he calls it the hulk it's just a it's a big big dude so you got some pages in the front uh some some white pages a presentation this one's filled out so i'm not going to show you guys I just want to keep the privacy of people there so then you have a title page and then a second title page and uh, your publication page after that. If I can get it turned. So your, uh, your publication page is here and you can see the ESV, it's a 2011 text. And uh, the uh, typesetting, with, as with all the quintels, is done by uh, 2k Denmark and uh, they're printed and bound uh, by Youngblood in the Netherlands so really quality uh, bindery and uh, and printer you can see the art gilding really well here it's uh, it looks pretty good it's held up pretty well like I said this is a used edition it's it's seen some work so uh, it's nice to see how well it's held up and this edition as you can see it has <clears throat> excuse me three uh red ribbons and the white head and tail bands uh they look nice look nice when we open it up to see the layout this is some nice paper i love the double column with the uh the references on the bottom i love that it helps me when reading if i'm studying a center column's nice but it but it's uh you know i think it's this is kind of the way of the future for me, at least. I I love having that double column with the uh, the references separate. Same thing in the Omega. The Omega is a double column, and they have the references in the bottom corner. I think that's a a uh, really smart move on behalf of uh, Skyler and Crossway to do that. So uh, this is an eleven point font, but it looks bigger. I mean, it just it's a big font. It's really readable. And that 38 GSM paper is just so nice. It's uh, and we're in the Proverbs where you have a lot of blank area between lines, 
and uh, and and the ghosting's not terrible. When you get to the New Testament, a lot more paragraph uh, formatted um, in, in this line match, it's going to be a lot less ghosting. So it's it's much nicer, much nicer than uh, than really anything else I have. The Omegas are, are probably a close second. Um, they're line matched, uh, but the font, the bigger font, uh, the Omega is a 10 point font. This is 11 point font. Uh, this is a bigger Bible, but I'm a big guy, so I don't mind holding a big Bible. Um, this is just a little bit better to me than the Omega. Um, so, I mean, if portability and size is a big difference, then, then, you know, the Omega is probably a, a better choice because really the Omega, uh, has the stitch perimeter, the same is bound by young blood, uh, printed by young blood, same thing. So it's really not a lot of difference between the Omega and the Skylar. But, uh, you know, when you're talking about colors and textures, the ribbons are better with Skylar. The colors seem to be better with Skylar. Um, the printing is bigger. So, uh, I don't mind a little bit bigger Bible. Um, so that's just personal so anyway um that's really about it there, there's not a whole lot i can tell you uh you have as far as the text you have the the uh red uh chapter uh numbering that's there and um let's see the when you get to i wanted to see if it was a um yeah, you, you have a, uh, it's not a red letter text either. I just want to make sure it's a black letter text. Uh, but you, in the back, you have a decent concordance. It's okay. You get to the back. And uh, it's pretty good size concordance. It's the same concordance that ESV uses with their new classic reference, as you can see right there, uh, the 3,000 word entry concordance. So uh, it's it's one of the bigger concordances that Crossway would offer, uh, but it's in a three column uh, format, much smaller font to kind of save a little bit of space. And uh, you have, uh, it's, I mean, it's just, it's nice. It's nicely done. I think it's about 63 pages of, uh, of concordance and then you get to your maps and uh, the maps are nice they're on like a little bit thicker of a Bible paper I want to say it's a little bit thicker of a stock than the than the Bible paper inside it feels a little bit different uh, but they're all gilded and art gilded and all that stuff too so it's, it's nice you have room on top and bottom on most of them to put notes and and whatnot so it's a uh, it's nice when you get to the end of the maps you have an index to the maps this is kind of short then you have uh, some white paper paper I really wish they would do some line paper back here but I understand you know that's that's okay if they don't but um, then you come to the back you have the the uh, same liner, which like I said, I, I thought it was calf skin, but I think it might be goat skin. And then you have the, the back of the cover, that red cover. It's just really a beaut. I mean, I love it. I love this thing. It's That red is just so, it's such a good color red that uh, I'm really, really happy with it. I could stand for the ribbons to be just a touch longer, but I love, I love long ribbons anyway. So uh, they're not short. So that's that's okay. Um, the dimensions are about it's about nine and a half long or tall, and about six and a half wide. And this edition's almost two inches thick, so it's a it's a good sized Bible, about like a a decent study Bible would be. Um, and you also have uh, about three pounds. I want to say it's about three pounds. So it's it's got some weight. Uh, most of the thin lines are about two and a half, so it's just a little bit heavier than a than a thin line. So um, anyway, um, 
that's about it. That's about all I can think of that you'd want to know about the first edition ESV Quintel. Um, if you get a chance to get one, I recommend you check it out and get one. I know a lot of people like the 36 GSM uh, second generation. It's a little bit thinner. It might be about a uh, quarter inch thinner. Uh, but I do like the big first generation, first edition of the ESV Quintel. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. And uh, God bless. Ask any questions below in the comment section. So uh, thank you again. And don't forget to check out the Giveaway Bible for February 2018. It's the uh, Disciples Study Bible from uh, Holman, the CSB. So anyway, check that out and uh, be eligible. Thank you guys again. God bless.